Hello YouTube. I've been asked many times how to change certain things in a graph drawn in Excel 2011 for Mac. Uh, but uh, in order not to make uh, small videos, I will make a, uh, a little bit longer video in order to describe uh, how to edit it and from where to edit the full graph and how to change different features. Um, I will start with a random graph here is, uh, against population, um, chart, scatter and then straight line. Here is the default graph. And if you are not very keen on the layout, you can choose a quick layout from here when they can give you a chart title and a, an Excel uh, title uh, for Y and, and uh, an X and so on. Uh, you can have your um, your quick layout, uh, the one you, you, you want. However, if you really want to have some uh, serious editing or uh, normal editing, I'm just gonna go back, uh, you need to use these two banners which is um, which are two sub menus from charts so if you did not really choose the chart they will not appear. You have to be um, you have to choose the chart so these two uh, menus will appear. Now we start with the chart layout. As you can see, depending on what are you choose, what have you chosen in the in the chart, this current selection will change. Now we are changing the series. Now we are changing the chart area. Here we are changing the horizontal value. And from here you can click on the format selection in order to open the option menu in order to choose different kind of things which is the filling which is uh, this one for example it's the background for the chart um, and the line surrounding the chart the shadow uh, the font of the chart <coughs> it just take me some time the font of the chart in order to change the size the font the color of the chart and something um, something like that uh, and of course if you clicked on this is the plot area again if you want to change back here is also the plot area which kind of fill up fill you want for the plot area and the, the line again and the format the shadow and so on so um, here is the plot area uh, just before we move on don't forget to also to explore this is not the plot area this is the plot here. Uh, don't forget to explore pictures and texture, which is that's mean you can add a different picture as a background of your graph and so on. You can add patterns instead of colors, and you can add also just the normal uh, gradual in order to make it look. A little bit nicer, of course. Depend on depends on what do you have, uh, what do you have in mind. Um, you we move on to the second one, which is the title chart. Of course, you can choose the title above and overlapped. Overlap, they're gonna be mixed with the graph. And again, if you want more options, you can always click on the option, um, the option uh, at the end of this menu in order to have the option window come up in order to change the font and so on. Again, the same things will apply for the axis, verticals and uh, horizontal and verticals. This is horizontal. And of course, if you want more options, again, just click on the axis title option and horizontal again. Here it is. Um, here is the legend. Um, the legend, which is this here, the name of the series. Again, if you have many, uh, these series names will be depending on, uh, for example, this will be population, and then if you have year and death, the second, for example, red one will be death. Um, and again, you can choose where to put it, and again, if you want more options, you can just click, click on that legend option. Now, here is something important, which is the data labels. The data labels um, is to uh, write sorry data labels is to uh, series name which is in order to show the points name or if you want to say the x value 
and year or if you want to say the y value for the points plotted now again sometimes you only want to, sh to show one point which is the most important one for, uh, now we chose the point series and click again for the point you want to show which is this one since it's a peak and then go to data labels and for example show the y 46 uh, sorry 64 million and move on uh, axis horizontal here's again if you want to have uh, for example if you have high high values now here we have millions I can uh, rather than writing 90 millions I can just write 90 and then I can go to vertical and, and I say the axis in million 90 million in order not to have a very big uh, numbers on the Y um, it might not be that uh, beautiful again grids again you can choose grids whether you want um, only oh, this one already shows uh, you want both Y and X grids, which is, can be um, looks really professional looking. Okay, if you want more options, in order to choose the the color, the gradients, and the width, which is how wide your uh, the grids are. Um, here is also very important to. Uh, uh, to determine the trend line uh, just in order to see to, 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 to add the line in order to see the trend of them of your data again trend line go to sorry trend line and again go to trend line options for more options about um, in types which is what kind of type of, uh, of trend line you want of course that's depend on many statistical options that you want to, to take decision about of course if you want to display the equation because sometimes when you choose um, a linear <coughs> it's sometimes really good to, uh, if you have a really, uh, x and y that's one uh, is a result for another it's also good to have them um, relationship um, between these two factors and the equation will be very important to show that uh, the other thing if you go to access option uh, you can choose here the scale of the access where to start and where to finish now here for example we start from 1860 I would like to start from 1800 as you can see the graph is shrinking and the maximum we will choose for example 2000 and um, again measure unit let's choose 100 which is mean jump every 100 but that's a little bit but maybe we can make it smaller then too much but then again you can choose that 25 and minor unit let's try 10 and the same things goes to the vertical axis but we need to do that on the Axis, vertical axis, more options. I want it to be between a minimum, yeah, well, zero, maximum 100 million. And again, of course, you can change the step between every number. Now, the second menu, which is the format it's again when you choose it's change the color again you can do that already from the first menu for a different uh, by by clicking on different uh, menu options in order to bring out the window for that option 
but also you can do it very quickly here by changing the line uh, by choosing different choose first and then change what do you want to change to color or even the, the weight and the dash or the shape and so on um, that's alignment that's uh, to change to to how to align different and here's to change the color again with the black and so on so technically these two formats are the one that's really control um, how to edit the graph however you need to make sure that you are not using something that preset like here for example and if you want to change yourself don't forget to use um, the current selection option which is um, in order to bring the, uh, the, op the, the option window in order to, to do it the way you want and um, thanks for watching